more when we see the starting lineup, Donald. But let's look at the starting lineup for Mount Pleasant first. Daniel Russell is between the sticks. They have a back four: Kimani Campbell, Jamoy Topi, Shaquille Dyer, uh, Suley McCullough, five men midfield: Leonardo Jefferson, uh, Alwyn Harvey, Leonardo Rankin, Donovan Sigri, and Kimoni Bailey are all behind their leading striker and the league's leading striker, Trevante Stewart, with 13 goals to his name. Yeah, he's really been on fire this season. He's a player at the top of his game and a hat-trick on a few occasions. That player will be a lot for Harborview to deal with. Anthony Bennett is the custodian for Harborview. In front of him, Odlin Harding, the former skipper. Johnny Talbot, Ryan Wellington, the current skipper, Oshin Stapel, uh, over on the right side of the defence in the middle of the park. Krista J. Daly, he wears the number 10. Shamari Dyer, uh, Kasim Priestley and Trey Bennett on the right side of the midfield up front. Take a look at this, Nicholas Hamilton, but Garth Stewart, their number 16. Let's see how that one will work out, the former holding mid. As we take a look at the full-time highlights here. Mount Pleasant had the majority of the chances in this one. Bailey's effort, ambitious, but uh, it really gave an indication of, as to how he approached this game. And this effort was just wide of the mark from Krista J. Daly. He was involved in most everything Harborview's way. Then that effort from Hamilton, Russell making the initial save. Zaire really should have converted. That was a magnificent save from Russell. But the follow up from Shamari Dyer over the crossbar. And that was Harborview's best chance in this game. Hamilton. His effort was blocked. I reckon that was going goal with as well, but I think Russell would have dealt with it. And then in the second half, the game really came to life as both teams went for it. Trevante Stewart was quiet for most of it. And uh, there was a coming together here that could have turned ugly. Makala overreacted as it was the head injury. But both teams, both players getting yellow cards there as Kim Bailey on the end of that ball, putting that one over the top. Really didn't give up on that pass. And it was a good try. And Trevante Stewart with a, a shot on target was a slight deflection there. But Bennett holding on in the end. And that was that. The final play of the game. The header was misplaced and that was that yep after 90 minutes nil all Mount Pleasant had 19 shots 19 five of which were on target Harborview with eight shots one on target 11 fouls committed by Mount Pleasant two more than Harborview both teams having a couple of yellow cards each eight quarters to Mount Pleasant five more than Harborview who had the majority of the possession at 52 percent Kimoni Bailey, great performance from you today. Since coming to Mount Pleasant, you've been a live wire, a permanent fixture in the starting setup. Today was no different. It was really a good performance from you. How do you feel? Well, I'm feeling fairly well. Um, I think I played fairly well today. I think I get a few chances where I think I should put away, but otherwise I'm done my game as well. You talk about putting chances away that you got. You served up a lot on a plate for your teammates, and they didn't put it away. I mean, how do you view that? Well, that's fairly well my job because, as you know, I'm a winger. So I'm here to um, make assists, score goals. So that's what I've done. You're up against one of the better fullbacks in, in the Premier League in Staple. You did so well in keeping him in his own half. Was that a ploy of yours coming into this one? Well, it's a part of my game. And I play like, like, like how I normally play. So it doesn't matter the wing back or who it is. I'm going to always come out and play. Love the confidence, my, my friend. All the best. So, peace.